Welcome back, True Seeker. Famous guitarist Slash of Guns N' Roses and a number of other bands recently announced the death of his 25-year-old stepdaughter. From reading the article, it makes it seem like she committed suicide. There's not a whole lot of information on her passing, but she did die July 19th, 2024, the 201st day of the year. We know 201 is that very special number to the Illuminati, which has a lot of influence in the world of entertainment. Her passing at 25 is interesting because the word death has gematria 25. And in her case, she died four days before her stepfather's birthday, who goes by the name Slash. Of course, the number four is associated with death. And what's interesting is Slash turns, or he, today's actually his birthday. I'm doing this video July 23rd. Today is the day Slash turns 59 years old. And Gematria Slash equates to 59. So his stepdaughter dies four days before his 59th birthday. On the 201st day of the year at age 25, her social media post uh, went live after her reported passing. And it said, whether I made you feel excluded, manipulated, controlled you, told you to quit your day job from the comfort of being financially supported by my parents or drowned real issues in toxic positivity, I am sorry. Countless missed opportunities and connections due to a disgustingly big ego, insecure heart, and fear of being vulnerable. May my soul learn to evolve from my poor job at being Lucy Blue, peace with a rose. And again, Slash, very famous, all over MTV in the 90s with the big band Guns N' Roses. Notice um, her name, Lucy Blue Knight, in Gematria, the Kabbalistic practice of coding numbers into words, has a numerical value of 170, 62, and 73. 170, 62, and 73. Look at the word sacrifice. Sacrifice. 170, 62, 73. So R.I.P. to Slash's daughter. And um, again, if you're new here, look a little more into my work on the number 201. Fateful number. Illuminati number. And the world of entertainment is full of patterns just like this. Till next time, True Seeker.